Well, hello there, amazing people. We are going to talk about Pantheon on Open Sousa a month later. I will start out with a little bit of a bad because this, uh, this video will be a little bit all over the place, but, but this is the first bug that I have. I kind of have to reboot before it actually works correctly. So I will reboot now and, and it should theoretically give us a nice desktop environment. So as you guys can see, this is a way better <laughs> experience than the first boot we had. I don't know if that's a virtual box only thing or if I goofed something up, but it has kind of looked like I've done that from the beginning. And I have, like I said, I've been using it on and off for a month now. I have some streams where I have been using it. I've been coding a little bit in it. What else have I done? I've done all kind of crazy stuff in here. And of course, this is Tumbleweed and not Leap. That could also have an influence to how it's been running. So another thing is the wallpaper change. So I'm using something called, where is it? Here it is, variety. So if I, is it preferences? It's preferences. You can see here, it should take pictures down and I can't change the pictures. I don't know if it's the back end that I'm using because you can use two different back ends to control the wallpapers and whatnot. You can use the one from the Pantheon repos and I think there is another one with that's open source branding or something like that. I haven't tried and, and changed those handlers out and see if that works. I basically just followed the instructions of my first video. It seems to be the instructions that work the best for me. That said, those are the only two bugs I have had or problems that I have had with running Pantheon desktop. Other than that, everything has just worked. Updated it and updated it and updated it and updated. I played uh, a little bit of videos in it. I watched YouTube in it. I've done basically what you would do on a day-to-day -day basis in, in a Linux machine. I even recorded some videos here about mirrors and done some bash scripting and whatnot. We can even go in here and use a script that I have to update my distributions that I'm running. I'm going with OpenSUSE right now, see if there's any updates. I think I already did this one time, one time today. But you get the idea here, so if you're okay with not be having uh, at least variety being able to f or, or use that to change your wallpapers and you don't mind rebooting when you boot it up the first time. And again, I think that's a virtual machine problem. Oh, we actually have a shit ton of uh, updates. If you can live with those two bugs or what you will call it, it's actually functioning almost as native Element Stereo is you just get a more up-to-date backend in form of Tumbleweed. I even installed tweaks. You can go in here and you can customize it. A little, there are some things missing on the files here on the tweaks, but that could be coming under an update and stuff like that. I will say there are small snippets here and there where, where you know that they are under Element Stereo, like, like settings or... You know things you can do with Pantheon, but they are so far between. Like it's not like oh my god, I can do this on the Element Serios, but I can't do that in here. You barely be noticing it if you have not run Element Serios for extended amount of time or tried out uh, the Pantheon desktop for an extended amount of time. I will say, other than Element Serios, this is the best Pantheon desktop experience. I will even say, with those two boxes that I'm having. This is a better Pantheon desktop experience than Elementary OS. Why? It's running on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. I don't have to wait fucking one and a half year after the base is updated to get an updated base. I could rant about that for fucking hours. So I love this. I don't mind the Elementary or the Pantheon desktop here. It serves a purpose. I get why El uh, Pantheon, I keep calling it Element Serios. I, I, I understand why Pantheon is here. And that's what made me want to try Element, not Element Serios, Pantheon. That's that's what made my crazy ass brain go over to SUSE because they had this Element Serios uh, easily installed guide. Like, again, I will have a link to my video down below so you can see it. And I was like, oh my God, I can actually get Pantheon on a system that wants new hardware on a system that has the latest Mesa drivers and, you know, core libraries and stuff like that. I can run Pantheon on a rolling release. And I was like, this sounds really tempting. So I installed it. And I, again, I could live with this. I, I'm not the biggest Pantheon fan. Again, like I say, it serves a purpose. 
I, I am at this point right now that if I want to run a, a Pantheon, the Pantheon desktop, I am going to run it on OpenSUSE. It's running so good that I can live with those little quirks that it has, like I need to reboot from, with my first boot. Like if I reboot now, it still works. So if we go in here and shut down and restart, I don't have the problem with the with the, um, the desktop not showing correctly. It's only on the first cold boot. I can live with that. I can live with not having everything, every customization as I have on the element savvy always with Pantheon. Because those small things that I am missing is basically of non-importance. I'm getting a way more up-to-date base for if I want newer hardware, I don't have to think about it. I get a rolling release. The open source people that are doing this here for us are making a better Pantheon desktop distribution than Elements Heavy OS, even though it has some problems here and there. Anyway, I'm done here because I feel a massive rant coming here in a minute. So see you all later. Bye bye.